Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna be doing this beautiful wedding acrylic sign. Um, I love these because I feel like we've got the process down, it's super easy to do and execute. And that's the thing that is big for me is the execution part because all these craft pro projects take so long and I want the end to look good. <laughs> we don't want to get to the end and be disappointed. So what I love about acrylic signs um, is that the acrylic sign is clear, right? It's see-through. So what I like to do is I like to draw out our design to go underneath the acrylic sign. So that becomes our template, our ruler. We know exactly where welcome goes. We know what's straight. Um, where it's centered, all of that. It Because there's like a drawing on the acrylic sign for us. And that way we can concentrate on applying the adhesive vinyl so that there's no bubbles and um, we don't have to put down to our happily ever after as one long thing because we don't need it to be straight. We know exactly where each word goes so we can deal with a smaller piece and we don't have to do Valerie and Zachary together. I mean, welcome, unfortunately, is one long word, but you kind of get my drift there. It makes it a lot easier when you can break down into little pieces instead of having to put down the whole thing because you're worried about the alignment. So, all right. The other cool thing is, so Valerie was one of my winners for a contest back in forever. And this is what she won was this wedding sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to experiment a little bit. Um, I did it with this thank you sign. Um, so you can kind of see it's the same font. So I'm hoping that she'll, you know, um, I, I wanted to kind of give the same look so that she could see if she likes this or not. We're working with gold flakes. So I want to do it exactly like this. So what I was thinking is that in this corner up here, we would have the gold flakes. And this corner down here, we're going to have gold flakes. And then in between, I want the whole thing painted in white so that we can really read this sign. It's really hard to see um, if you don't have a background to it. Um, and let's get started. <laughs> okay. Um, what I like to do is I always have a board. So this is 20 by 30, and you can see that here. The height is 20, uh, 30 inches wide. That's the same sign. That's the same size as my acrylic sign. And then everything else is just eyeballing whether I like it, whether or not I like it visually. So I'm not looking at welcome to be, you know, uh, 22 inches by however many inches. I'm just going to type out welcome and see where I like it, um, it, it to determine its size. Um, my only limitations is that it has to be able to be cut on my Cricut, right? So I'm limited by 23.5 inches. So if you look, see here, I've already cut this. Welcome is almost 19 inches. Um, to our ha happily ever after. This is 22 inches. Technically, this could have been 30 inches, right? Because we could have cut to our happily and then ever after as a separate piece. So this whole thing doesn't need to be one piece. Um, and you'll see that here. So Valerie and Zachary is 23.2 inches. That's too long. But Valerie by itself is not too long, right? And Zachary by itself. And so that's kind of what we did here is this is Zachary. I like how pretty this name is, right? This is the um, the foil adhesive from Cricut. I mean, I absolutely love it for, for any kind of sign. So um, let me see if there's anything else I want to tell you. Um, what I would do afterwards is, so I would grab each one of these lines with the sign and I would align it center horizontally so that everything lines up right in the center. Now then I can pick and choose here if I want welcome to be a little bit higher or whatever, but at least it's all center aligned. Um, all right, I feel like that's all we need to know. So what you should do is this. Once you are happy with your sign, I would grab it, control C and control V, drop it somewhere else. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna move it over to the side. 
Okay. So this is going to be the vinyl that we cut for all the words, okay? So we don't need this background, right? This is done now. Um, what we need to do with this is we wanna make sure this is welded. So welcome is welded. Um, this, we could keep it together because I have to use 12 by 24 anyway because welcome is so long. Um, and let's see, Valerie and Zachary. This right now is just attached. And how I know that, let me move my face over so you can see over here. So you can see over here that your option is to detach, which means it's currently attached. So I'm gonna detach it and let's see what we have. It's still detached or attached. I'm gonna detach it again, okay. Now everything is detaching itself. So when I click over here, here's Zachary is together. It's 12.7 inches by five inches, we're good. I'm going to weld it because I want all my letters to flow and connect as one long name. Okay, so this is all done. Here's my ampersand, amper stamp, stand. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm going to look that word up afterwards. All right, Valerie. Valerie is just attached but not weld. We want to weld it. So let's weld it. And if you want to save space on your... Um, on your vinyl, I would cut this up into two pieces. So let's ungroup it for now. And we're going to do... 2R and we're gonna we're going to weld it. We're gonna do happily by itself. Okay. And ever after we'll do together as well. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like in a minute. So let's uh weld ever after. Now I've already cut it. I did not do it like that, but this is what happened. So oh but I you know what? I ended up using 12 by 24 because to our happily ever after was so long because I made it one, um, one full phrase. But here it's broken up so you can see. That'll give us more options when we go to the cutting mat. We can kind of squeeze things in and kind of save, save some vinyl. Okay, so this is all of our vinyl that we're gonna cut, right? I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change it to gold because that's what we ended up cutting it in. All right, so this is all done. Now we have this. We're going to work on um, what it looks like drawn, okay? So what we need to do is we need to grab all our words and we're going to weld it together. It's going to become one file, one image. The whole thing is together, okay? The reason is because we need to slice it from our from our rectangle. And the only way we can slice that is we can only slice two items at one time. So we're slicing the rectangle and we're slicing all the words. So that means all the words needs to be one image. So that's why we welded that together, okay? So now we're gonna grab these two items and we're going to slice. And you see how slicing is available? So we're gonna slice it out And as soon as it does that, just waiting, okay. We can now get rid of this. And this we want, okay, I'm gonna move that to the side. Okay, I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna delete this. So this, what we wanna do with this sign is instead of cutting it, Oh my gosh, it's going crazy right now. Okay, so here when I click on it, it's currently basic cut, right? I don't want cut. I actually want to draw it with my pen. Now I can't draw it as is because it's too big, right? It's 20 by 30 inches. So I'm gonna slice this up into pieces that I can draw on my Cricut, which is with 12 by 12 paper. So if 
you know, I love doing my off the mat characters, but this is an off the mat project. So while it's not a character, it's too big for the Cricut to cut, right? So technically it's off the mat. So we're gonna make it so that it fits on the mat and this is how we're gonna do it. So let's go to um, images and so I have this file and I'm gonna search for it now. You can get it on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. You can get it for free if you sign up for my newsletter, which to be honest with you, I'm not a newsletter um, kind of person. So I'm gonna send out maybe a newsletter a month. <laughs> I don't even want to say a month. It might be a newsletter a quarter. Um, but anyway, in exchange for your email, if you subscribe, then you can uh, get this grid of squares, okay? So the squares, I'm gonna to go to ownership, and this is my uploaded ones. This is a file that I uploaded that I called squares. And what's nice is every time you do an off the map project, if you get the SVG file, it's here. You don't need to create these squares that are completely flushed with each other, okay? So I'm gonna go in. When you get this file, it comes with two, you will get both options. You get a grid of nine and a grid of 16. The grid of 16 is 44 inches by 44 inches. It's a big project. I almost don't recommend doing anything bigger than that. So that should really pretty much cover you uh, for all your projects. All right, so I want the grid of nine, add to canvas. And we want this because we want them to be flushed with each other. We don't want any gaps and we don't want the squares to overlap either. All right, so what you do is they come in grouped, right? So the first thing that I would do is I would go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 3.8 becomes four, 2.8 becomes three. The reason why you wanna do it is you want everything to be on, um, on a whole number so that if you make any changes to it, you can easily undo it uh, or make sure that it's flushed again if you end up moving any pieces. Uh, trust me, it's just easier. All right, then we're gonna look at our, our um, drawing and send it to the front so that we can do something like this. Okay, so now our grid of squares, we can ungroup it because now we know where everything is we actually don't need this bottom set of squares, right? So we can just grab these three squares and just delete. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice out each one of these squares. So we're gonna grab this one square and the image and we're gonna slice. And so you can kind of see, if you can just imagine, our acrylic sign is gonna go on top of this drawn out piece. So we know exactly where welcome goes. We know where two are. It doesn't need to all be one long adhesive vinyl piece that we're trying to control and manage, right? So it makes it so much easier. I promise you this method is like foolproof it makes the project so much more manageable, low maintenance. <laughs> um, and that's kind of what I'm all about. So let's just slice all the way around. Now, sometimes, you know, depending on how you do it, you don't need to draw out all six. Sometimes you, you only need to draw out, you know, three of the squares. If you have three, then you've got everything. Like this square right here, this square is so awesome. It's got the date both names. If you have both names and this and sign, then you don't need this or this because Zachary's all connected, right? If you place down the Z-A-C-H, the A-R-Y is going to follow. It's going to go exactly where it's supposed to go. So that's kind of my point. That one is really good as well as this middle one. Um, but let's just continue. I, I do like doing all six because... There's just no mistakes. <laughs> and this little line right here, you need one of the corners though, because you need this to line up with the corner of your acrylic sign. If for instance, you only did the two middle, where in the middle, right? <laughs> so that's the only thing you still need. You need a corner piece. I would do corner, middle, middle. If you got, if you have these three, 
um, you pretty much have this sign down. So that's if you're being really cheapy. But this is just regular white cardstock. You stick your pen in there. It's uh, low on materials. All right, so I think we have everything done. I'm gonna move these to the side. So that's, we're gonna draw that out. We're drawing all these out. So this, we can get rid of. We're drawing this, this, and this. Okay, this we can get rid of. All right, let's go to our cutting mat. So we're gonna go to make it. Okay, at least one of your images is larger than 11.5. Not a big deal, just click okay. All right, so our first page. All we need to do with this one is you're gonna stick a pen in because we're drawing. So it says pen. It's gonna draw out this corner so we know where to line up on our acrylic sign. It's gonna go from corner to the edge and it starts the welcome and 2R. Okay, so it's gonna draw all of that out. Then this one's gonna draw out these pieces. So the first six is just drawing, it's just the pen. Then here's our basic cut. So Zachary, welcome to our Valerie's on here. So I know that when I cut this, I was actually able to fit Valerie all the way up here. Like this. Welcome, I'm gonna move a little bit down here. And this, I'm gonna move out of the way for a minute. This, I'm gonna move to. All right, so Zachary, I wanna make sure it fits here. So it's not, nothing is overlapping right here, right? So now everything fits up here. I'm at about the 21 inch line. Over here, let's move this over. The date can definitely fit on there. So I'm gonna click on the three dots, move object. I'm gonna move it to the previous mat. Hit confirm. And now I just want to make sure I line up everything so nothing is overlapping with each other. Okay, so this I'm probably going to put up here, ever after. Let's see, where does ever after fit? Um, maybe right here. Happily, I'm going to turn this way. I think you can fit in here. My little sign. I mean, you can see I'm really smushing things in here. So if you were to do something like this, then, uh, let's see, let's not do that. That's not good. Does that fit anywhere else? Let's move this. Oh, so close for it to fit right there. Let's see. Mm, I guess we could put it right here. And this we could put up here. Okay, so you could have this left over as scrap for some other project. Um, so that's it. You're cutting one mat, one 12 by 24 mat, and the rest you're drawing. And when you piece this together, it's going to be amazing. So actually, I'm going to make this. I don't need to cut that, but I need to draw these out. So I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to catch you on my next YouTube tutorial where we put it down and, um, actually apply the adhesive vinyl and do the paint and it'll be fun. And then that way I can ship it out and she will get it in time for her wedding. All right, I will see you guys next time. Comments, questions, special requests, let me know. See you, thank you, bye.